Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do try to go over a different EMS mnemonic every single week and this week we're going to be going over the mnemonic short. And as always, let's start off with the definition. SHORT is a mnemonic device intended to advise EMS or other medical personnel of the possible difficulties they may encounter when performing a cricothyrotomy. Okay, so let's quickly jump into what each of the letters stand for. And the S stands for surgery. So if the patient has had surgery to this part of the body, it could cause issues whenever a paramedic is attempting to crike. It could be due to scar tissue or maybe just anatomical differences after the surgery. And the H stands for hematoma. So hematoma is a collection of blood that has, has come out of the vessels or the veins and gone into the tissue. Whenever I think of a hematoma, I think of our patients that maybe fall and bump their head and have a big goose Egg, that is a hematoma. So if the patient has a hematoma in this area, it could cause a lot of issues because obviously there's going to be swelling. It may be hard to make the incision in that area or get through that accumulation of swelling and blood. And the next one is O and it stands for obesity. So our larger patients or even our patients that just kind of have a bigger neck, it can make it very difficult because essentially you just have more tissue to get through. It may require more cutting and sometimes it'll be hard to identify the anatomical landmarks. And the R stands for radiation. If you have a patient that is undergoing radiation therapy of some sort, you can run into a lot of issues because if they're getting radiation to their head or their neck area, they can have a lot of swelling or stiffness in the throat and the neck. And just like with our obese patients or even our patients where they have hematomas or things like that, it may be harder to find your anatomical landmarks and it may be hard to cut through them. And the last one is going to be a tumor or some sort of mass. A lot of people actually have masses and tumors on their thyroid or in that area. They may be completely benign, but they may actually get in the way in these instances. And that's all I have for the short mnemonic. I actually found it really interesting. A lot of paramedics don't ever get the opportunity to perform a cricothyrotomy or they don't get to perform a lot of them. This is a really good reminder of all the difficulties that you can come across whenever that day finally does come. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.